the severity of your problems is a matter of perspective, change your perspective, and most of them become insignificant. Some of them will no longer exist as problems, but opportunities. The tool you need is the proper viewpoint. The necessary tool. It is an activity. It's a benefit. If you alter your perspective on something, the things you see will then change. So if you're in a situation in your life that you're not satisfied with it, you must make some changes. But you need to make a responsible choice. That you intend to alter and it is independent of other people. Just once, you don't have to make a second commitment, once you commit to the action you're planning, then you carry it out. Each and every day. You have the chance to demonstrate to the world, the entire world, what materials you truly are. Therefore, if you are now experiencing something, if you're going through some tough circumstances, you need to understand that you can get through this. You can get through this. Additionally, you can get past this. But you can genuinely develop your strength, intelligence, and speed. Everything you want to be, because you're experiencing it. We underwent psychological, emotional, and bodily changes. Otherwise you're going to die. Either you live, or you don't. If you seek an explanation, there is always one to be had. If you seek an explanation, you'll constantly have one. If you promise yourself you'll do anything, you must do it, like, right now. If you promise yourself that you'll become something, you have to just f asterisk ck be it. You must consider this, how much longer am I going to let this stop me? I enjoy Zig Ziglar's viewpoints. Fear is false evidence appearing genuine, he declared. I understood that all I had ever desired resides in space and I have to leap every day. To recover what belongs to me, royalty is that. The best strategy for overcoming fear is to act and learn. Consequently, you are present. You're here to banish anxiety about the unknown, dread of being rejected, both the fear of failure and the dread of change. A thousand valid reasons exist not to go, however, in reality, none of them are significant. If you want to create something in your life, you must, that you must keep in mind, you have to start, as Mark Twain once stated. You must take the necessary action. To expand beyond all limits I'm referring to the daily tasks that you must complete. You are not in charge of everything. You're only accountable for the work you do. Decide to act now. Each and every one of you is skilled in something. Each and every one of you has something to contribute. You have an obligation to yourself. Find out what that is. The real thinkers are the doers. The individuals who actually produce the stuff that both alter this sector of the doer and the thinker in one. Fear is an illusion, but desire is a requirement. We need a motivating force in our lives. Experiencing a loss, battling a disease. You can simply allow it to overwhelm you. Now, it's up to you how the pain alters you. You might turn out bitter. Perhaps you could do better. You can feel defeated and decide to give up on your goals. Perhaps you can emerge with a new interest, a new project, enthused about the new possibilities that lie before you. Watch how you gain confidence. Is through doing. You will never develop confidence. Just discussing it. When you feel confident, you start addressing the issue, it doesn't involve thought. It involves tossing. You won't understand until you try. But ladies and gentlemen, put your dream into action and don't eschew the areas where fighting occur. Get involved in the conflict. The world shouldn't concern you. Concern yourself with where you will graduate. How can you support yourself? How can you go about doing something unique? How are you going to accomplish something enjoyable? Interesting. Also assisting others. If you experience visions and dreams, I have some news for you. God is in the business of making your dreams come true. He finished it for me. I won't help you with it. Many of you are better than I am. Being on the side of the majority is not what life is all about. But to avoid falling into the lunatic category. The times that you are knocked to the ground. And you're curious whether getting back up is really worthwhile. You can see those situations. When the question, who am I going to be? Must be asked. 
Most of us are interested in what others think. And most individuals are interested in what other people think. If only you could lessen your emotional baggage, merely a little, you have no idea how much more liberated you will be. And how much more you will achieve in your lifetime. Don't let dogma hold you back, it involves having to put other people's ideas into practice. Not allowing the clamor of other people's thoughts suppressed your own internal dialogue. There is a time constraint, don't waste it then. Living another person's life. When you develop into the proper person, how you act is you begin to distance yourself from others. You start to stand out in a certain way. As long as you adhere to another group, if you act like a copycat, you will never be the world's best copycat. But you'll perform to your highest potential. I'm asking you to describe your worth. You spent so much time interacting with others, you devoted so much effort to attempting to win people over. You are more familiar with others than you are with yourself. You've researched them, you understand them, you wish you could hang out with them. You aspire to imitate them. And what about that? You've spent a lot of time on them, you are not aware of who you are. A large dream can be killed if you so choose. Tell that to someone who lacks perspective. It is dead. How frequently, man, have you had a fantastic idea? And you went and told your family members about it. As well as your alleged buddies, and they destroyed it. You were mistaken to believe them. Let them talk to you because they taught you. Of what God has provided for you. They don't know something, and I want to tell you. Your heart is unknown to them. The places we've been, how we arrive, we are what we are. It's insufficient justification for action. Even if doing so means getting more. Be selective. Choosing it out of want, do it out of desire. It falls on you. You must occasionally take a step back and look within. Also to pray and contemplate, and power up your devices. Clear your brain and lead and then return and take a different angle to see it. Don't drive while you're under the influence or the result of what is happening. Consequently, as you gaze up at the night sky, that you feel a sensation of wonder and a call something from you, correct? To reply to the limitless meeting you had even if you will eventually die, you're coming up against limits and finiteness. That's all in relation to to the utmost. Those feelings of awe is also the bringing something from you to the surface. It can answer to the unending challenge. You see, the universe will present you with a chance. To pursue these goals, however, it is ultimately up to you to try such things. Go ahead and seize what you truly desire. Your life is how you feel. You don't need much to be happy. Or a lot of unhappy. You could think you have a lot with a small and believe you are without anything a lot of. Accept full responsibility for your actions. It's one of the pinnacles of human development. Assuming full accountability. You know, today is the day. You've grown up and left behind childhood. The moment when you take full responsibility. Not what actually occurs. That establishes the standard or how much time you have left. Not what actually occurs. When something bad happens in life, our common response is to ask questions like, why me? Why do bad things always happen to good people? Now I want to share with you that you won't experience pain, but I am unable. I wish I could tell you that you can dwell on disappointment throughout your life. But I am unable. I'd like to tell you now that you'll be always thinking about grief, but I am unable. Be aware of that, if you stand your ground and endure suffering, you're going to get stronger. Will you remain seated, or will you choose to stand back up? It requires bravery. It demands self-assurance. Resilience is required to stand back up. When no one has faith in you. Every person possesses a lion. Are you hankering after that ideal? Will you fight for your dream? Release the lion. I wanted this from the moment I sat in that settle and I told myself I wouldn't die, here I told myself that I will make something special out of this life.
and I will show the world what the best gift truly come from the bottom.